Hi everybody, welcome to week eight. So we're halfway through the class and now it is time for our persuasive essay. I find that a lot of students fall into one of two camps. Either they really like writing where they can just talk about a subject and inform people um, and they don't like arguing, or they really like making an argument and they find it difficult to just inform people about a topic without taking an argumentative slant. So for those of you who like to argue, the important thing to remember is that I want you to be persuasive without being offensive. So remember what we learned from the rhetorical analysis about the Boy Scouts. Having an angry or sarcastic tone is really going to turn your reader off and make them less likely to listen to what you have to say. If you're in the other camp and you don't really like to making an argument, you can take a position in the middle. It doesn't have to be completely like, yes, we should keep the raise the age law or no, we should get rid of it. You can have something kind of in between like this law is OK, but it needs to be tweaked or we should look at these situations or even arguing like um, I know one of the places this is impacted is foster care, right? We should make um, arrangements to help foster care so that juvenile offenders coming in um, have safe places to to stay. So you can have an, uh, an argument like that that's kind of in the middle. The most important thing to remember is that you still have to have a strong thesis. I don't want to read your paper and have it just sound informative where I really don't know what position you're taking. Um, Everyone, too, <laughs> should organize their essay and their thoughts before going into writing. So I recommend that you make an outline. Um, you can plan out your claim, kind of draft what your thesis is going to be. Think about what your reasons are going to be and then organize those reasons in a logical way. You're only using the research that I've given you. So this is not um, the researched argument that we're going to do later. If you need help transitioning from one point to the next, I have a link for um, transitional devices from the online writing lab at Purdue down in the email. And if you have any problems along the way, just contact me and let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to reading your work. Thanks.